Pro tip, async workflows in repository dispatch. Let's do it. I'm Joe Lust. You can fork me on GitHub at Twisted Pair, and you can tweet at me on Twitter at LustCoder. So, what are asynchronous workflows? And why are they important to you? Well, let's say, for example, that you've built a CVE scanning tool. That tool runs on your servers outside of GitHub, but it might actually take a long time for those scans to complete. Historically, you might have made a GitHub action that sits and pulls after sending out to your server and waits and waits and waits until that scan is done, burning perhaps half an hour of your user's build minutes. Now, certainly, you don't want to waste that time. What if there was a way that you could call back in asynchronously when you were done and continue that build? Well, now there is, and it's called repository dispatch. The repository dispatch event is an event in GitHub's API that you can call, say, for example, from your GitHub app to trigger an event in a specific GitHub repository. This event can be any type of event that you define, and it can carry any payload and metadata that you like. This is very powerful because now you're no longer constrained by GitHub's events and GitHub's domain model. So what's this look like? Well, let's look at a build that maybe is using this CVE tool. In the specification of that workflow, we can see repository dispatch and the types. And we're telling the workflow that we only care about the CVE checks pass type. So now when your external service calls back in firing that event, we're going to trigger just this workflow. And on top of that, we can see here with the CVE checks completed and successful that we are running the ship it job. And that job is actually accessing the metadata from that event that's been brought into scope by GitHub workflows automatically. Using that data, we can do all sorts of useful things, such as the second example, where not everything went well during our CVE scan, so a different event was fired through repository dispatch, the CVE checks failed event, and now we're using a third-party action, for example, Jason Etko's create issue action to make an issue against that repository and note what the CVE was by changing the title to the actual payload that came out of that event. As you can see now, we are enabling the users of the CVE tool, for example, to do whatever they want, combine these events in any way they see fit that's useful to them inside their workflows, and to tie the original job to a third-party service, kick it off asynchronously, and come back into another workflow tying everything together in an event-driven manner. Now, you might think this seems like something you could already do. And it is true, previously you could fire a lot of events, but you were limited to events that happened inside GitHub, to somebody making a comment, somebody pushing a commit, somebody merging a pull request. But now you can create whatever events you want that are relevant to your apps, and you can fire them to those repositories, enabling users and customers to build workflows that are event-driven and work for them in whatever permutations they can imagine. Given that, what are you gonna do with repository dispatch?